I'm going to take um this uh words. You're so eloquent. Black from the nudes palette by the Mabel. <laughs> Everybody, I have a new tutorial for you today so if you would like to see how to get the look that you saw in the thumbnail then please keep on watching so as usual I went through my normal prep thing for my face I used my Rimmel stay matte primer then I did my uh, urban decay eyeshadow primer potion And then I filled in my eyebrows with a random black eyeshadow. But one thing I did differently was I used some of my uh, Rimmel London Match Perfection Concealer, what I normally just use under my eyes. And I went under my eyebrows a little bit, as you can see. And I might do that on the regular. I kind of like how it looks. And then I used my Makeup Revolution London Concealer Palette in medium to dark and went over my entire lid to even out the lid space color. Next, I am going to take my favorite transition color. You already know what it is. If you don't, it's terracotta from the LA Colors. And I'm just going to put that in my crease and then we'll go from there. So all I did was I went into my favorite transition color, Terracotta. It's by LA Colors. And I used this brush for that. And then I dipped into just a random black eyeshadow, the same one I did my brows with, just lightly. And I used this fluffy brush. And I layered them on top of each other. That way it'll help with, in my opinion, it'll help me with the transition to the darkest shade. But uh, yeah, that's all I did. And I'm just gonna blend that until I get the depth that I want. Now I'm going to use my uh, depotted NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, and this is in the color Black Bean. It's this, and I'm gonna use a <clears throat> I'm gonna use a flat synthetic brush and put that on my mobile lid area. And it doesn't have to be too neat because we're gonna blend it out later. Now I'm just going to take this dome eyeshadow brush and a random matte black shadow. This one I happen to be using is the black from the Maybelline's Nudes, Nudes palette. And I'm just going to pat that on to the um, black bean and blend it out slightly. Now I'm just going to go back in with a fluffy brush, the one I used earlier, and dip back into the black and start blending out the edges a bit more. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my brow bone highlight and I'm just taking Naked from the Naked palette and we're just going to pat that on with a flat brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean up my fallout and everything and put on my foundation then we'll come back and finish. So for my inner eye highlight, I am using this color right here from the Maybelline Nude Palette and I'm just tapping it in there. So I started over here, but for my bottom lash line, I'm going to use the NYX um, Depotted Pencil once again, and I'm also going to use my uh, my normal uh, black Kajal um, waterline eyeliner, and I'm going to use both of those on my bottom lash line and then blend it out slightly with uh, the same black matte eyeshadow.
So I will most likely leave it in here, but if I don't, you can obviously tell I went over the black again and I used a different eyeshadow. I used the uh, NYX Sex Bomb eyeshadow, the black in that palette, because the one from the Maybelline one was nowhere near as dark and you can probably tell that. But back to the program, I'm going to go back in and go over my highlight once again just to merge everything. Then I'm going to go ahead and put on some eyelashes because I feel like this look needs eyelashes to balance it out because if I don't have them then I kind of just look like a raccoon and that's not what I'm going for. So I'm just going to go ahead and put on my mascara. I'm going to use the Scandalize from Rimmel and the Lash Lengthening from uh, Black Radiance. And then I'm going to go ahead and put on my eyelashes off camera. So for my blush today, I am going to use the Black Radiance Artisan Color Baked Blush and this one is in Toasted Almond and I'm just going to pat that on my cheeks. And for my highlight today, I'm using my Makeup Revolution London Makeup Revolution London Vivid Baked Bronzer in Rock On World. World? Rock On World. So to put some more definition in my face, I'm going to use this dark brown from my Tarte for True Blood palette and just lightly run it under my, I'll run it um, in the hollows of my cheeks just a little bit. And for lips today, I'm using Dr. M by ColourPop. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Um, I was going to do something different akin to something I wore last week, but I haven't worn a smoky eye, like, out ever, because at first I thought I could never do it because I didn't want raccoon eyes. But for a first attempt at a smoky eye, I think I did pretty good, actually. It was a learning process. as most of my tutorials go but this one I didn't mess up too much and I'm getting better at the highlighting thing still still serving glazed donut realness this is nice but uh yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the look and if you would leave a comment down below um just tell me how was your day and stuff like that that'd be nice but um yeah um I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you all have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.